Hello. Right, hang on. Let me just <laughs> finish this thing here. It's one of the it's one of the scra it's one of the granny squares that make them for from family. I just need to kind of finish this real quick. It's looking pretty cool up there. I be I gotta say. But hello, how is everyone doing? We've got day fifteen of Inktober today. Ah, uh, and we're gonna. Leave that down a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> We've got day 15 of October and the prompt is going to be Amadi Amadillo? Amadillo? I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I want, you should be pronouncing it in, in a more Spanish way, I guess. Amadillo? Amadillo? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a cute little... Fella, uh, I don't even know if it would be possible for him, for them to, be, for it to be uh, anywhere near our happy eagle. But for the sake of the story, he's going. They're going. It's going to be. <sighs> I'm stumbling all over my pronouns again, <laughs> but it's going to be. A cute little buddy for our happy eagle. <sighs> right, I need to go to the next row here. Right, I'm almost done with this. I would have been done with this a little bit sooner if I hadn't crocheted this snake thing on the wrong side of the square. I had to open it all up again and turn it back over to the right side. But now I've got it on the correct side, so all is well. I think that's not, yep, that's still one. Oh, there's still a lot of going left. Oh, why is there not? Oops. I just have to cut this a bit. Use what for, I don't know what. Maybe it'll be enough for the head. Right. opened up very good but anyway I hope you that's definitely gonna be enough to make a head since the head is not gonna be very large anyway so oh my gosh gotta stick that through the middle Okay, okay, I can put that to the side for now and we can, oops, sorry, come on, and we can get started with our Amadio drawing. I should have looked up some references earlier, but um, I didn't remember to. Oh my gosh, Death's Head Hawk Moth. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Anyway, um, right. I think we're gonna have one where 
it's going to it's kind of peeking out a little bit where we can see a little bit of that face hang on where's inktober 2022 there we go or something like that whoa they roll up really fast What I'm wondering is, are these armadillos as well? Lol. <laughs> but we're gonna go with that one. Okay, lol. <sighs> mm, do we have any more with peeking out? Oh, we don't, probably. Higher sketch. Sketch Y and PC. Hi, hello, welcome to this. Uh, just gonna. Right, wow, well, we got to. I'm gonna take that as a reference. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, we've been making a little bit of a small story. Well, this is the second sort of small story out of in, during this October. We did, the first one we did was with the Gargoyle family doing some shenanigans, having some shenanigans, and right now we've got a harpy eagle. We forgot to build a roof. Oh, those are some fantastic drawings, thank you. <laughs> Someone's holding a leaf above them, but they can't see who it was. And now we're going to draw an armadillo. I don't know what the role of the armadillo is going to be. Armadillo? Armadillo? I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but so good oh thank you <laughs> the basic gist is we're trying to make a little story we did a, we did one story with the ten, first 10 prompts of Inktober and now we're doing second sort of story I guess and the one where you pronounce the L's <laughs> Amadillo <laughs> so Amadillo 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 <laughs> It sounds so it's a it's a fun word it's a fun word it just looks a little bit spanish to me <laughs> but we are such adorable little creature cre uh, creatures <clears throat> right i'll be doing my sketching in yellow i'm going to try to remove the lamp and make it a little bit darker just because the yellow is a bit so difficult to see on camera but to be honest, it kind of is like tomatillo or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it sounds a little bit Spanish. It, well, it, does, it looks a little bit Spanish just because with illo, 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 it's, it looks like it should be pronounced illo. <laughs> Amadillo. That's what it looks like to me, kind of. I'm very, I am not Spanish at all, but it's just like... <laughs> so this whole thing has a story. We, ha yes, sort of. <laughs> This whole thing, wait, that's not part of that story. This whole thing has a story. We've got the Harpy Eagle, it started to rain and they were like, I should have built a roof. They forgot to build a roof and that's uh, the pre first premise. And then someone is kind and holds a leaf above them to make them a little less wet. <laughs> uh, I didn't leave enough space to sign on the page <laughs> yesterday, but um there's nobody wet there apparently <laughs> but now we're bringing in amadillo amadillo into this i don't know <laughs> i'd say there amadillo is kind of hiding somewhere inside the nest and just discreetly holding up the little thing and i kind of want to do it draw it pretty big so we're not gonna add the harpy eagle into this Ta 
take some talent to not only draw something every day for October, but also come up with a story. <laughs> um, considering how messy these end up, like we did that last, we did the same thing last year, but it was very, very, very messy. I'm trying to get a little bit of structure into that sort of thing, but <laughs> last year's story was a, a big mess. Uh, it involved time travel, vampire cats, and uh, somehow. <laughs> Um, ghosts as well and uh, someone wanted to kill their dad or something <laughs> it's, it was a big mess and then there were side plots with uh, trench coat dogs and a student at some cat magic school <laughs> who didn't get what she wanted <laughs> it was very chaotic it's still chaotic I mean the gargoyle, the gargoyle story is a little bit weird. Like, it starts off with, I guess, Daddy Gargoyle frying a bat. <laughs> this is one of my favourites, just because of the lighting. <laughs> and then just coming home with flowers and then we take a trip to the beach and have survival lessons. I, this cute little thing where they cuddle up together. I don't know what the connection to this is, but I think that's the yeah that was the end of the story. <laughs> Frying a what now a bat. <laughs> it was like the continuation from this scene where the cat bat, where this cat was hissing at the bat. I don't know why it fried the bat. Okay, I I I usually think bats are really cute, but flame. What else am I supposed to do? It looks like Daddy Cat wasn't aware of twenty twenty. <laughs> It was not. It was not. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> mm. Right. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then it was like so just a complete turn to from the uh, it turned the story from where it was suddenly very wholesome and stuff. And I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a ball, but like a very wonky one. I forgot I should be keeping a paper in between the pages because I don't want any ink coming onto the next page because it's already a problem where it's like, hang on. Uh, that's still moderate. I mean, they didn't get the lockdown, so I'm sure they got off well. <laughs> yeah, like. Hmm. But it does bleed through a lot with this paper. Eh. To be fair though, they're gargoyles and so human rules don't apply to them. They probably can't even get sick because they're technically statues that just come to life at night. That's a good question. Do gargoyles get sick? Do they? <laughs> Do they get sick? Because <laughs> like, if they don't, it's like, they, they, they don't really have to care, do they? It's like, eh. Your headband looks very cute, by the way. Oh, thank you. I made it myself quite a bit a while ago. Eh, this was supposed to be a butterfly, but it's kind of a little floppy and it's just a flower. <laughs> Alright, the head is sort of... Oh, gosh. You know, I thought drawing an armadillo in a ball shape is going to be easier than drawing it standing up, but also because it's supposed to be hiding a little bit. But, like... I'm not sure if I'm getting the proportions right, but it's fine. Nobody will see the reference and it'll still look cute, right? Right? Right. Right, we've got the tail that's kind of going up like that. Hi, Srabian, how are you doing? We've already gotten off to a bit of a nice start. Of course, gargoyles get sick, they get kind of ki kidney stones. <laughs> I mean, they, they could get that, I guess, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I mean, that's one. Your name is kind of sus. <laughs> sketchy, sketchy. <laughs> sketchy, sketchy. 
Just a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit. Oh, you just read the, just read a tiny little ear. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So the eye is sort of there. I don't know how I'm supposed to be drawing this. Kind of sketchy, one might say. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's just kind of sketchy. It's just kind of. Just kind of. Right, so. I don't know, floppy bit here. Now we've got this, sort of. Should have joined on September. It would have been so funny. That's a very fancy pen, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, I used to have one with a this sort of flower inside of it, but uh, I broke it. Kind of looks a bit like um, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right, we've got a nose. Ugh. Actually, I'm going to bring my reference a little bit closer. Right, so... I'm trying to put as much effort into this sketch as I can. Even though technically it's ink and nothing is going to be erasable at all. <laughs> but that's the whole thrill of October. Are you standing up right now? No, I'm sitting. I'm just sitting. I can't stand up uh, underneath my bed. Because <laughs> uh, I'm a bit too tall for that. <laughs> and yes, this here is my bed. And it's... Uh, this is kind of... The downs the underneath of my bed, <laughs> not my ceiling. <laughs> Although the anger kind of makes it look like this is the ceiling, but I can touch it. You can't stand up to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, the pillow in my chair moved. I was gonna say you do look quite tall based on the camera angle. <laughs> nah, I'm not very, very tall at all. <laughs> I am not very tall. Somewhere between 150 centimeters and like 155. I'm not sure about how ex tall exactly, just that it's somewhere in that range. Because like the measure tape we had only went to 150 and it was just like a little bit too short for me. <laughs> so like somewhere between that. Uh... got can I just zoom in it's got claws sort of just uh, okay but I guess I'll be using oranges and reds uh, to shade this guy this cute guy in I'm not I'm, d I'm going to angle it a little bit differently because I want them to be holding I want it to be holding the Leaf, right? The other hand, row. the other claw, I guess. I don't know. Is it a claw? I don't know. It's fine. The cone of the headband easily adds about two centimeters. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know it just it makes me a little bit taller, I guess. So, currently, uh, we're like when I'm trying to reach stuff in the kitchen, like I try to today, I am. It's one of the disadvantages of being short, it's just like, I can't reach stuff. <laughs> I can't reach stuff, anyway. Right, we're gonna draw in the stem of the leaf that it's holding. And it's obviously going to be inside of the nest. So the background is gonna be sort of brownie. That's what stools are for here. I did take a chair, but I did not even find what I was looking for, which was like a couple of, uh, <sighs> great, uh, something, something like this, but to clean the bathroom, didn't find it, uh, didn't find it anywhere, so I'm gonna have to later ask my parents 
where it is, <laughs> where they are at. Okay, so. Is it a something? Well, yes, everything is a something. <laughs> <clears throat> I know, very accurate description of me. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a nice cup. Thank you. <laughs> I got it for my birthday uh, this year, earlier in March. What you're drinking? Water. <laughs> Sometimes I have tea, but... Uh, only if I've made if I took the time to make myself an entire cup of tea because this is very very big. Uh, like if I took something from our uh, tea cans and stuff, uh, there wouldn't be much left for the others. <laughs> so I was just kind of. So most of the time I'd fill it with water, and occasionally. No, I wanted to take yellow first. <laughs> I'm gonna take my other yellow because the other yellow is a bit brighter than the one from Winston Newton. Bouton d'or. I don't know how to pronounce this. Encre pour stylo et usage, usage, usage courant. French. I swear. <laughs> what is that? It is. Oh, love me some nice cold water. Sorry, don't mean to make fun of your accent. I think it's kind of lovely. I try not to say water. It just slips out sometimes. It's what comes when you when uh, when you spend a couple of years in England, and then it's sort of stuck, even though I'm not British at all. Right, I'm gonna try and have to gonna have to try and suck a bit a bit water. <laughs> or maybe I said that joke one too many times and it's stuck. I would have totally guessed that you were British. <laughs> no, I'm not British at all. But you may guess what country I am actually from. <laughs> I'm Strabian, don't give them any hints. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I keep getting stuck with the cones on the camera. Well, maybe if I. <laughs> There we go, that looks a little nicer. She's from Guatemala. Where? No, I'm not from there at all. Srobin is lying. <laughs> Wait, I should have said that. Oh my gosh. You're being very misleading. <laughs> Got it, Netherlands. Mm. Not originally. <laughs> I am in the Netherlands right now though. Like just right now. We're not gonna we're not gonna be staying here much longer. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yes, I am actually staying in the Netherlands at the moment. I'm sort of living here for just until we move away. That will look I guess partially sniped. <laughs> It's just, but it's it's not where I was born, technically speaking. And it wasn't the first place I've lived here. Like we only moved here like, oh gosh, two years ago, I think. <laughs> I'm bad at gears. <laughs> oh well, but you're not that far off. I'm going to tell you that. You're not far off. That's like five points out of ten. Not bad. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, and to 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 be fair, <clears throat> my accent probably doesn't give away anything about my nationality anymore. <laughs> Like, I'm not sure if I've ever had a bad accent. I might have in my early English speaking years, I guess, but then I spent Wales final answer no. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. She's not from our top. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> that is indeed kind of correct. <laughs> Trying to draw in some scales. I didn't do that there. I'll do that in a darker colour, I guess, because I messed that up. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit weird. This geography quiz is hard. <laughs> um, she's not from outer space either. <laughs> But how do you know? <laughs> um, right now, but Netherlands is Netherlands like I am cur currently where I'm living is Merchant School of British accent. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if I stayed in England long enough, you'll have a British accent eventually. If you're like staying there in your younger years, my parents still have the uh, not so British accent, but I, m me and my siblings all have. <laughs> Um, but Netherlands is very close to where I'm originally from, that I will say. <laughs> Oops. And I don't blame you for not get, uh, being uh, good at geography quizzes. I didn't, uh, I didn't take geography for a while now, and I mostly missed most of my lessons. Uh, in geography in school in England, mo mostly just because uh, I got one-to-one -one English lessons instead. <laughs> Which is very funny because, like, we had like, oh, 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 Belgium for sure. No, <laughs> but we're getting a little closer, I guess. Oi, Gumna. Gumna, give the lad the starting letter in it? What? <laughs> We're sort of getting closer. But it does border the Netherlands. I have embraced my nipret. <laughs> ah, you were born in the middle of the Atlantic. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm starting to question why I decided to draw out each of these scales. Like, what was I thinking? What? <laughs> British. <laughs> British. <laughs> uh, well, it borders the Netherlands. Um, I mean, I meant, to, I, I meant a piece of land that borders the Netherlands. Because only quality art here that doesn't cut corners. <laughs> True. <laughs> Although, there, on that leaf, I could have done a better job. But I was not feeling great on that day. So, after doing the bird so nicely, I decided, yeah, leaf. There's no other option. There's nothing east of the Netherlands. East is... Ah, there is. <laughs> there is, though, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I missed most of my geography lessons in England. 
and didn't take geography from where Jesus is, which I never even got to finish. <laughs> because Brexit came along, which was very annoying. Although I'm sort of, although it kind of runs in my family, my mom didn't take geography either. <laughs> And I don't think that it did either, a Brexit. Yeah, Brexit. <laughs> I keep dropping the T. Well, technically there's southern Denmark, but that isn't really a country. Southern Denmark? <laughs> um, <laughs> so she is British, but she doesn't consider it because of Brexit. No, I never was a Brit. Brit. <laughs> I never was British. British. Right, I'm gonna try to consciously pronounce the T's from now on. <laughs> I never was British. We could have been if we got like settled status or something. Something. <laughs> she voted remain. I didn't vote because I was too young. I never was a bruh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I never was a Brit. I was uh, a foreigner in England, technically. You haven't guessed it yet. <laughs> no. But it is a country that borders the Netherlands. It's definitely bigger than the Netherlands, although, to be honest, that's not very hard. It's so obvious she's Italian. What? No! <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, I don't even know a word of Italian, so, uh, no. <laughs> is it Germany? Because that's the only other thing that I can think of that's, like, next to Netherlands. It is Germany. Well done. <laughs> I'm going to try clap while I'm holding this glass thing. <laughs> glass tip pen. But yes, it is, it is, it is Germany. I am from Germany. <laughs> Why was that not my first guess? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I did say you were close with uh, Netherlands. Because, like, for one, we currently live here, but we're not going to be living here much longer because we do have a new house in Ireland. So we're going to be going back to that. And I'm saying back because after Brexit, we did move to Ireland first. And then we were like... Well, this is a bit lonely. And when we came here uh, to the Netherlands, it's like right there in the map slapping you as soon as you look at Europe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Germany really wants to know people that it exists. <laughs> I don't know. But it is quite a big country, I guess. Not huge, but like big. Bigger than the Netherlands anyway. <laughs> Although that's not very hard. The Netherlands are rather small. Um, oh, I can still draw scales in there. We move around a lot for various reasons. <laughs> At first it was dad's work, then it was Brexit, then it was like, oh, we kind of don't really like Ireland, and now it's like, <laughs> give us back Ireland, we don't want our we don't want any neighbours, just just because humans are so, so hard to deal with sometimes. Especially, like, since we've got some other views, like, our neighbours are a bit... Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> I bet you can't name all the micronations of Europe. Micronations, you mean like uh, Luxembourg? That's the only one I know. <laughs> Don't ask me for more, I didn't take geography. But like, we mostly moved to the Netherlands because we didn't want to ha have a car. 
but that's not turning out great because like at least the places where we've lived and visited here in the Netherlands it's like all built for cars and so it's like what's the point even? Luxembourg is the biggest. It's also the only one I know. <laughs> Uh, geography gun. Luxembourg, Andorra, Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein, I know that. San Marino, Monaco, and the Vatican. Wait, Vatican is its own country. I thought it's just a part of Italy. <laughs> Church just has to have everything for themselves, don't they? I genuinely just thought that the Vatican was just like a building. <laughs> I thought Vatican was just the name of a fancy church. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, my foot fell asleep. <gasps> no, no, that's not nice. Stop. I really need. To, I really need to stop sitting cross-legged on the chairs. My feet don't like it. It is literally just the size of the San Pedro church and a few extra buildings. <laughs> Wake it up. Wake up, foot! <laughs> Give it coffee. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> and I don't think my foot does either. I'm a tea person. Because, like, British. But I was drinking tea before I got to England, okay? It used to be a huge state in the middle of Italy till 1870 when it got nerfed. Oh. Poor Vatican. <sighs> British E. E? T. T. In T you do pronounce a T. T, 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 drinker. How does a nation with a literal pope in it get nerfed? It just does. Italy was like, give us some of our country back, please. It doesn't belong to you. You're literally just like in the middle of us. <laughs> I don't even know where the map, I, I don't even know if it's in the middle, but like. Pope too strong. Nerf next patch. Well, I mean, pope, the Pope has a supposed God on this on it, on this side, so like, pff, don't know how that happened. <laughs> I feel like I'm drawing way too many scales on this, but that doesn't matter. Scales are scales. And we're getting hit and we're getting hit cups. <sighs> That'll stop them, surely. The Swiss guard couldn't stop them all. Oof. That was a hiccup, that was cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I guess. I don't know. I don't like them. I get them sometimes at random. One of my family's <laughs> kitten cups. They're like 10 dudes in shiny clothes anyway. <laughs> yeah. Kitten cups. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I sometimes get like a, a little hiccup at random. My family thinks it might be because I get nervous sometimes, but like... I don't feel like I'm nervous <laughs> at the moment, at least. Like, I've gotten used to this by now. I'm pretty sure I've, I've been getting less hiccups lately. <laughs> so, who knows? Oh crap, we're making her nervous. No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> Almost done with these 
scales. Wait, no, we're not. I still have to do the head. The head also has some like scales and stuff. You didn't get hiccups during the 50 followers special. True. Boy, there I, had, I, there I had to. You got kind of nervous. I got really nervous there. That was t that was too nervous for hiccups. <laughs> You did, you did a good read though, huh? Even though the first time I got really distracted by the chat. <laughs> Which only goes to show you how like, like I didn't really want to share it because I was like too nervous. <laughs> I get really nervous when it comes to reading out my stuff. It's like, that's my story, what if people don't like it? But it was fine in the end, obviously. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Wait, 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 are you going to try and make me nervous so I get hiccups? <laughs> like I said, it's just a theory that my family got about why I get these hiccups so much. Because like, I also sometimes get them when I'm having a phone call with someone. Which is weird. We told you to not look at us, but you kept looking. I know! Look behind you, a distraction! Where? <laughs> I'm joking. I know there's nothing there. Although there's a lot of distracting stuff there, to be honest. <laughs> And it's a shame because the Halloween decoration that I made is not just being, it's not on camera. We've been trying to contract to you about your car's extended warranty. I don't have a car. <laughs> Thank you for following Sketchy NPC. <laughs> Thank you for following. Right. Uh What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do in the smudging. No problem. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm gonna try to not smudge it so much that the scales don't show anymore because I did a lot of work drawing out each individual scale and stuff. But I'm going to smudge slightly. Wash it out. <laughs> I kind of like the way inks work and I really kind of want to draw with them beyond Inktober. Mainly because I don't want another situation like with my... So it's the armadillo showing its bottom. No, it's curled up in a ball and just kind of peeking out. It's sort of like that. Although that is the tail so I guess from our point of view it looks like a cute yellow dress. <laughs> Does it? Huh. A little bit, I suppose. <laughs> right, um... Uh, oh. Oops. <laughs> ah, yes. A tail. <laughs> it, it is just a tail. Don't get any weird thoughts. <laughs> But it is kind of impressive how you drew that pretty much sp spot on though. Eh, it's just <laughs> practice, I guess. And I was trying to work just work off the ball shape, I guess. It's almost as if, as if you're an artist or something. <laughs> you should have seen the bird from the other day. Yummy. Yeah, this bird. <laughs> that was literally just a little bit of sketching and then washing that out. Just a little bit, making it all a little bit feathery and fluffy. And then adding a bit of shadow and that was it. Really cool looking. It is really cool looking. I absolutely adore it and I'm pretty sure I still managed to wash out most of them scales. Uh, I guess I'll have to redraw them. <sighs> That bird. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Right, I'm going to try and do a little bit of shade work. 
shading work, I guess, with some orange. Or maybe I should be letting this dry, but, uh, pff, patience? Who, what's that? <laughs> Besides, I kind of like how it's just sort of bleeding a little bit. So long as I'm not wrecking the paper, everything is fine. I don't know what colour I'm going to make the head though. Because <clears throat> my brown has gone purple, which is weird. It comes. Yo, yeah, well, he get, got the nice boozy highlights so yeah pretty much yes <laughs> I'm trying to keep the scaliness da, da, da. I've never drawn an armadillo before, but apparently I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> uh, better even better drawing an armadillo than I am at drawing humans. Realistically, it's like a realistic bird. Fine. So, have you thought about where the armadillo fits in the story? Then it's holding the leaf, but it's hiding, and it's kind of start it's just trying to blend in with the rest of the nest. That's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> when I'm sure, when I'm sure you're American after that. No, not even close. <laughs> You've got the America speak pretty well developed though. Just like I have my British accent developed well. <laughs> British. My goodness. Uh, my parents have a lovely German accent, but I don't, and neither does my sister. We both, we all, or my other sister or my brother, I think. We've all sort of got the British accent. British. <laughs> British. <laughs> I think I'll try and use purple for the body of the armadillo, just cause that'll be a nice little contrasting colour. Or I'd use blue, although then that would be not my first language. Thank you, I've been working on my English. It's not my first language either. <laughs> and like, even after two years of having English in school in Germany, I struggled in England. <laughs> Hence why I got like one-to-one -one lessons from them, which was mostly them just explaining words that I found in a book that I was reading. I've got what's commonly called all-purpose English. <laughs> well, that's a thing. I can use slang of almost every English-speaking place. Whoa. I don't know, to me it feels weird to say stuff like y'all or something. Although, when it comes to chips or crisps, uh, ch it's calling chips chips rather than crisps. I am totally going for chips because Germans call it chips and why shouldn't we call it chips? It's chips, not crisps. It's like, and the, and the chips, the English chips, the British chips are fries and nothing else. Or pumice, as Germans say. <laughs> pumice. <laughs> Which is a very butcher way of saying pom from French. 
but it's crispy. Yes, but for chips, because like they're, they're little chips, and chips are like the chip chips <laughs> are like not chips, because like when you think of chips, you think of something round that's flat. Kind of like a drawing. <laughs> yeah, nah, Scottish. Roy, Edinburgh is my city. <laughs> oh god. Uh, can't wait to get back to Ireland for the Irish accent. Maybe I'll pick it up. Who knows? Honestly, I just say whatever, whatever other people around me say. I don't know. That makes sense. If a Scot re read this, they would be, they would find me and beat me up. <laughs> Oof. Oof, 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 oof. I might do the same thing I did yesterday when I was doing all the brown shades, which is mix up a brown. And then do the body that way, try and paint that. Although I think it's not very great for that stuff. <laughs> oh! Do you know that? <laughs> excuse me. Do you know that meme of a female Pokemon trainer from the Gala game that is designed like a Scottish girl? You have to see one of those videos. I haven't seen. I've not. Seen, I don't know that meme. <laughs> like you know, I'm not very much into the meme world. When I watch videos, I'm watching them. I'm watching either a documentary about some something. Uh. Um, or I'm watching someone making art, or I'm sh or I'm watching a tutorial on crochet. I will share one later. Do it on the Discord. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> sketchy and busy. We have di I have a Discord. Uh, sorry, we might be kind enough to post the link <laughs> via commands. That would be great. <laughs> I would ask Becky to do it if she was here, because she's the moderator, but uh, she's busy doing other stuff. Maybe she's making mom's birthday card. <laughs> Spend 50% of my time watching memes, 50% not doing anything. Oof. My time is very weirdly split. Ah, uh, But are you on? Uh, hang on, I'm gonna have to check if the bot is even on. <laughs> One second. Is the bot on? Is the bot on or is it... Has it decided to go sleep? <laughs> it's off. I don't know why Streamlabs does that sometimes. It is dead. Right, try again, Srobian. Try again. <laughs> it should be on now. It should be on. <clears throat> Yay! We've got the link! But only if you've got... Haha! <laughs> it's working again! The bot is alive! It has gone alive. It's gotten alive. It's gone alive. It's come back to life. It's come back to life! There we go. <laughs> words. Uh, I, I definitely know words. Might I recommend using string elements instead? I'll look into it. <laughs> I mean, the stream Streamlabs bot works okay. It just turns off sometimes for some reason. I don't know. But I keep forgetting to check if it's on before the stream. It's just one of the sort of things I forget to do in my daily life, I guess. <laughs> well, it has a tendency to ban me for posting emotes. That is also a bad... Uh, about tendency over. I'm pretty sure I turned that off, which is kind of rude. It kind of is, but I'm pretty sure I turned it off now and instead it's just celebrating use of emotes. That's most likely from auto mod. Yeah, it's just the auto mod doing stuff. Pretty sure I turned it off though. Spam the chat with emotes as much as you want. <laughs> uh, 
Just reminds me, I still kind of technically have to make emotes or come up with some for the Discord at least, because I'm not sure I can have. <laughs> you took that seriously. Oh, I've got a bunch of purple hearts on my way to flood the chat. <laughs> Is this coming across as trading? I think it is kind of. This is what happens when you've got a limited palette of stuff to use. I am really hoping when when we get to Ireland there's some sort of shop where I can just buy inks and I don't have to get them off Amazon or something. I mean I can technically go <laughs> I mean, I can technically go and buy ink, but the place is like 40 kilometers away and I would have to cycle there because <laughs> we decided not to have a car, which... <laughs> okay, fair warning, don't write on the chat for a sec. Okay, <laughs> you're making a pyramid. Lovely. And whee! You seem to be at 50 plus followers though, so I assume it's your other stats that haven't reached affiliate requirements yet. It's the, the one I'm still missing, I think, is the um The one event I'm still missing is the one with uh, free average viewers. That's just the only one I'm missing. I'm hoping to eventually reach that, but uh, got it, it's alright. <laughs> Time to create several accounts. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I have occasionally got three viewers in one stream, but not every stream, really. And I think the uh, requirement is for have three average viewers in a month, over the course of a month. <laughs> I hope you get affiliated soon. Yes, me too. Uh, although maybe I, uh, I kind of wanted to wait until I'm in Ireland. <laughs> again because uh then i can uh great i, I don't know the english word <laughs> yeah but yeah I, I think the highest was eight i don't remember i could check the twitch stats but i'm not in the mood at the moment i'm kind of in the mood to keep drawing these scales <laughs> I'm making them bigger than I did in the sketch earlier, but that's fine. Just say the German word and we'll pretend we know what it means. <laughs> um, anmelden, or I guess, or uh, the word I'm thinking of is apply, but I don't think it quite works. But basically apply to open sort of, I guess, a business a little bit. Not just for like Twitch stuff, but maybe on like try and sell some art or something oh yes a word because <laughs> <laughs> i do eventually want to live off of my art but i still have a little bit of a way to go and it can, technically since i don't have any graduation or something i'm still gonna have to i guess kind of sort of catch up on that i guess <laughs> Uh, if Brexit hadn't gotten in the way, I would have had a graduation, but not in art. So I guess, yay Brexit. <laughs> it made me rethink my whole career choice. <laughs> How do you say, where's the toilet in German? Um, there's, an, I, uh, there's a few different words for toilet. Um, but, yay Brexit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but you it, would say, um, voice die Toilette. Oder das Klo. 
Wo ist das Klo? <laughs> If you wanna have it shorter. You must be the first person to say that since 2020. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I guess Brexit was a kind, I guess, boys with Toilette. Wo ist die Toilette? <laughs> boys with Toilette. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> no. <laughs> If you want me to write it into a chat, I can do that. But that's not what I meant. <laughs> This is gonna be taking a lot longer than the other drawings that I've made recently. If it's not too much trouble, then sure. <laughs> right, I'll write it in the chat. Hang on, let me move my cup out of the way. I don't want to knock it over. <laughs> Oops, that was an hour too many. <laughs> Is it because the chat is distracting you again? No, it's just because I decided that drawing individual scales is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of detail and work into this. I appreciate it. I didn't do that because I didn't do it with this one. This is more of a loose one, I guess. But <laughs> but I'm um, like yes, like this one took like. 34 minutes that was one of the shortest but it seems like you're having fun i am having a lot of fun and i guess i should be stop i should stop going back to the other drawings and focus on getting this <laughs> completed <laughs> to be fair it is kind of like a repetitive task that's like kind of nice but also like When does it end? It's a good way to make a long stream. It is. <laughs> just, if you want to make a long stream, just draw a bunch of scales on something and you'll have your long stream. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I cleared out my cup before, but there's still weird particles inside of it. Fish drawing next. <laughs> I don't know, tomorrow's prompt is going to be foul, I think, uh, which is like the, not foul foul, but like <laughs> F-O-W-L, which I think is another word for animals, I guess, or no, it's another word for uh, birds. I once had to draw a medieval soldier that has like one of those scale armors, I know the pain. <laughs> Oof. That does sound like a lot of... Pain. Foul, foul. That's a good concept for a drawing. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to fit it into the story yet. Because, uh, like, okay, I did kind of plot out these things beforehand, but... They have taken a different direction <laughs> to what I had planned out, especially the first one that went wild and a very different direction uh, than I had originally planned, but that's okay. It's all about spontaneously. I just sort of, it was good to have at least somewhat of an idea of what could be, even if it's not what ended up being, you know? <laughs> Sort of. Personally, I'm still reading back from the Bat Frame Cat. <laughs> it was a chaotic one. I uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It was just like, I think I read uh, when we kind of looked up gargoyles in a stream just to see what the history behind them was. Um, Which was very messed up. It was like, they found a creature and they decided, yeah, no, let's behead it, because it's a monster. And then they put the head, because it... I know, they burned the creature, they burned the creature. <laughs> and because the head didn't burn, because it's fireproof, because it shoots fire, they decided, 
put it up on a church when it was funny, which was what meant to, <laughs> to be fair, that's true. It was like, <laughs> although to be fair, we didn't show that the bat was actually fried. So maybe the bat is okay. And uh, we can all move on with our day. <laughs> Stomach is starting to hurt, but not in the way that saying I'm hungry, it's uh, getting a couple of crumbs. I guess that's where you should put burn stuff at church. <laughs> Severe burn injuries, not fried. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not much better, but at least it's alive, I guess. Or it's a bat that's like fireproof, I guess. Not the same, <laughs> obviously. But apparently, gargles are meant to ward off eagle with the evil, not eagle. <laughs> evil. She said fried. Her words, not mine. Okay, I did say fried, but only because it's like it kind of does. I mean, like when you've got fists <laughs> shooting at you. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of feels like it's try at least trying to fry the, f the bat. Which is a very, very harsh start to the story, <laughs> to be fair. Considering it gets so wholesome in the end, at least they cooked the COVID out of it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> we later improved it with some nice crabs. Yes, indeed. A rainbow crab. The day we found out that crabby has a lot of different meanings. For going from I feel crabby meaning I am so irritated and mad <laughs> at the moment. Uh, and then there's also the term crab an airplane, which is like you hold the, you have, fly the plane sideways in the wind sort of current. So like, I guess they decided crab. I love the English language. It's so simplistic. It's like, you know, crab, 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 crab. <laughs> 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 And then there would be the form of uh, two crab, I guess. Oh, uh, great, wait. <laughs> Still need to shave that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of shading just because I don't feel there's going to be a lot of it. Now you've made the word crab sound weird. It was... I don't know. It was weird finding out that British language decided... The English language decided that crab is going to get a dozen different meanings. Like, one meaning wasn't enough? Okay, I'm going to see if I can... Don't make a crab out of a word, it's okay. <laughs> this is not working, is it? It's working like a little bit, a tiny little bit. Which is enough, I guess, to shade it a little bit around here. Make it look more round ish. Mm. 
If someone randomly called you a crab, would you take it as a compliment or an insult? I'll take it as a compliment because crabs are cute. <laughs> I like crabs. Okay. I'm going to go in with purple <laughs> to add some more shading. I don't know what I'm going to do about my body. Maybe I'll make it red. Because <sighs> I don't have any red in that yet. So it'll hopefully be fine. <laughs> but... The... I'm, I'm looking at the reference as we... <gasps> Dark monkeys, if anyone told me you look like a crab, I take it as a what? What does that even mean? <laughs> it means you walk like a crab. Which is like the sideways walk and oops, that was a wit a little bit late wit. <laughs> Still there. Oops. Guess we're gonna have that bleeding out. It's fine. I mean no, we're gonna put it in some like little dark spots around the around there and down here because It is meant to look a little rounder. Hang on. Whoa, no, that's way too bright. Something else. I think the way it was before it's just fine. Have you ever seen a coconut crab before? Both things are freaky. Out. Wait, what? Oh, a coconut crab. No, I've never seen a one. Uh, hang on. I'll, I'll look that up in a moment. I just need to add in a little bit of shading. <laughs> Get all of the ink. Look at that, it's clean. Mostly. <laughs> I love this glass dip pen. Right, hang on. Let me find a picture of a coconut crab. I want to know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I'm just going to use Pinterest. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, can, I, I see what you mean. It kind of does look. Oh my god. Okay. I must say, I'm a really, it's coming, it's really, really is coming along really nicely. Yes. It's so cute and adorable. And I love it. It. Right. And I, although I haven't even started like the face and the inside of the body yet, <laughs> let alone the leaf uh, stem that it's holding, um, but all that can wait, I suppose. <laughs> At the moment, I'm just going to try and do my best to make it look like a round ball of uh, scales. <laughs> That's basically what it is, right? <laughs> a round ball of scales. <laughs> See, co co coconut crabs are abominations. I wouldn't go as far as that. It's just like, oh my god, that's so big. Kind of. That makes me a little freaked out. But uh, otherwise, I'd say it's fine. You know. Okay, um, maybe I should try to like draw the rest of the body, but I'm going to start with drawing the leaf stem that it's holding. 
And I'm going to have to eventually just make a background for that as well. I hope this time my family, when I g uh, come downstairs after streaming, they don't go, what, you're already done? Because, <laughs> like, in the past, since, like, t since I started Inktober this year, that has been their question. <laughs> it's like, what, you're already done? <laughs> If I may ask, how long have you been painting? Um, what time? Uh, I don't remember when I seriously started painting. I think it was in Ireland that I got into it, but which year? Uh, but it must have been like at least four years since Bertha was born with a paintbrush in hand. Well, I mean, I have painted a lot in the past, but not stuff like this. Uh, I, th I, I think later on, later after, once I'm, once I'm done with this Amadillo, I can show you some of my early <laughs> paintings, early paintings from like primary school. <laughs> In the painting for which I know I had a reference but I don't remember from who so that would be nice <laughs> just gonna have a painting tour because like this took a long way <laughs> mm. right but what color am I going to make your face I think we're gonna go with red we're gonna try go with red Hi, silly silly badger. Hi, hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Um, <laughs> this is still going to take a long, but no worries if it's too much trouble though. And don't worry, uh, although I have sorted my paintings out early, lately, so like, uh, it might take a while for me to find them, but it's no trouble, don't worry. <laughs> I've seen some of those. Yes, you have. If it's like stashed in some secret chest somewhere in your attic or something. No, 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 it's literally just over there. Uh, there? But down there? <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> Brute chest hidden with an X on a map. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> no, it's not that big, that hidden. <laughs> away i don't have enough room to hide away my old art and like i, I, I don't think i should because like that's there it, it, there are a few pieces i have left from my art journey even though most of them don't have any dates anymore and they've all gotten a little bit mixed up during the many 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 times that we've moved do you have a garden where you can bury a secret chest no <laughs> we have a canal outside of a house where it could technically sink a chest but that I don't want to like uh, disturb the wildlife around here now nah, it's always good to be able to look look back and see how you, far you've come I have come very far <laughs> um, I think I also have like one of the first drawings of me drawing a human being person <laughs> which is me uh, one of my first I guess self portraits, I guess. <laughs> Just dig them up every pirate day, take a look at them, and then bury them again. I can see that. Uh, wait, what, what's what's pirate day? When's that? I've never heard of that being a thing. I'm going to be drawing around. Arms and stuff, the hands, because they're gonna be a different color, obviously. Show the portrait, maybe. <laughs> Fans want to see it. Oh. <laughs> it's literally just a stick figure, um, but yeah, I, I, I still have that because it's like a picture on a folder, which used to have lots of other stuff that I made in uh, primary school inside of it, but we kind of tossed that out, um, just because I wasn't looking at it and I could. But I, we kept the folder because I can still use that for something, I guess. 
of most of my drawings I did when I was little. I don't anymore because we kept moving around so much, so like a lot of it had to go, simply because space reasons. <laughs> uh, not that I wanted to save them anyways, my mother just thought they were cute. <laughs> That's a good reason to keep drawing, I guess. But like, um, hmm. I mean, looking back, I wasn't the greatest artist out there, but it's all, but it's all just a matter of uh, practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. Okay. We've got the first layer for this. Uh, how often do you move? At the moment, it's like every two years or so. Although this uh, lately, that's uh, got actually no need to answer that. I don't mean to pry into your personal life. <laughs> uh, recently, it's been like every two years or something. Though the last time we moved was last year, because the house we ended up in first in the Netherlands was <coughs> yucky, and the landlord was. Mm, Main. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. You've got to bump it up to once every week. <laughs> Excuse me. No, I don't want to move every other week. That's no. That's. I even feel like once a year is too much, and I'm pretty sure like we want to settle down, but we haven't found a place to settle down yet. <laughs> that's sort of what's happening. <laughs> but. Just move to the home next door. No, because it's kind of like there's people living there. We can't just make them leave <laughs> as much as I would love to. Um, <laughs> then again, to the one next door and repeat. No, we would have to kick the people inside that those houses out. And I don't know. We we don't really like the Netherlands. It's not. Our place, I guess. Oh, great. Now there's no highlight. Uh, it's all bled together. Great. I'm browsing through your Insta right now and I'm just quite amazed with how good your paintings are. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you. I do hope when we get to Ireland, which mm, I don't know when that will be but probably around about next month uh that'll have some more mm, scenic scenes to draw because we'll be moving near the sea which is going to be a lot of fun and i really love the sea and ireland has all in, in general twitter she also has twitter i love a rainbow crab <laughs> The rainbow crab, yes. The rainbow crab is one of my favourites now. Uh, where is it? There. Rainbow crab! Loki, they're just touring the entirety of Europe. <laughs> Not the entirety! Like, we started out in Germany and then we were in, in England. And we would have literally just stayed there if Brexit hadn't come along. And then we moved to Ireland, but then uh, Corona came along and we were like, it's kind of lonely here. With the cows as neighbours and it was a little bit difficult because we were like uh, unless you're going shopping for groceries don't move two kilometres outside of your home and we had nothing in a two kilometre range <laughs> aside from fields, sheep Italy till when? Uh, I don't know depends um, <laughs> when I have my own money <laughs> Join us in the next season of Moving Through Europe, next episode of Bulgaria. <laughs> whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, now. Um, right, the claws are going to have to get a separate colour as well, because... Yeah. <laughs> Bulgaria. It's like, in our family, the motto is currently we move where we want to have a holiday. Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know, that's just sort of like, because Ireland was pretty much the dream country of my mum. <laughs> uh, just because Ireland, I don't know, 
why we Germans are so obsessed with Ireland, <laughs> but we are. Season 4 of Botswana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Botswana isn't Europe though. Huh. I do want to visit Greece at some point, but not live there. Not live there, just, just visit. Do a little tour, I guess. I think once my family was like, yeah, why don't you just, if it, like, when you get your own money and stuff, buy a camper and then just move around in that, keep up. I live on Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, I can agree with your mum on that. Ireland is nice. Ireland is uh, lovely. <laughs> Ireland has, I mean, Ireland in spring, there's more sheep than people. And that's one of the many charms <laughs> that it has. <laughs> At this point, is there any difference between living and visiting for you? Uh, it's a bit blurry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you live in a flat world. <laughs> yeah. Mine? Uh -huh. Okay. Right, I wanted to do the claws. That's what I was gonna do. I was just thinking what was what was it that I wanted to do. I'm going to make the claws blue just because I don't know, I think that's going to go okay with that. The claws like a crab. I don't know if it's if a claws they're just like weird long feet. I guess. They are showing through there, and I'm pretty sure they're like hands or claws or something. I don't know. I, I don't know Amadillo anatomy. No, like Christmas <laughs> Santa doesn't have claws. Oh, claws. <laughs> I just realised what you did there. <laughs> Santa claws. <laughs> Only sideways world. It's the, it's the crab life. Crab. Crabs are, crabs are cool. It's a crumb life. Right, okay. Can I call this Amadillo done? Can I move on to the background? <laughs> I love your realisation. <laughs> no, I had to say it to get what you meant. <laughs> That's how it is with me sometimes. I. Okay, I think background time. Because we're not going to just have the Amadillo sitting on a page, an empty page. Santa doesn't have claws. Oh wait. <laughs> right, okay, I think I can turn off my phone for the reference for now. Uh put that to the can I move this? I have this pile of granny squares sitting right next to me and I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with them. I just made them going like, oh this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> all these puns <laughs> comedy genius <laughs> oh, right okay I'm going to have what colours did I use I think it was red, orange and green for brown in tones right I'm going to move you over there I'm going to take the orange and remember which lid is which Thank you, I'll be here all night. Great, because we're nowhere near done. <laughs> we are nowhere near done at the moment. Right. No, no, don't make it a whip. I don't want to get water into the ink. <laughs> right. Uh, although I should probably clean my palette first before I start doing anything else because I don't want any lumpy bits on my art. Because lumpy bits are lumpy. Thank you for following, silly silly badger. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm going to attempt to paint a background with inks. Is it a terrible idea? Because inks are in watercolour and they're going to end up all spongy and stuff and the paper is rubbish and stuff. Probably a bad idea, yes, but I'm going to do it anyway. <sighs> ah, okay. But wet the background, just see if that's going to. What? There's still red ink on that brush. Lol. Right, 
remember to leave space for will your hands end up blue again we shall see humpy bits are lumpy truly wants to live <laughs> Will your hand? Oh, I don't know if my hands are going to end up blue. I don't think we will because I'm not going to be using blue. Uh, I'm going to stay far away from that blue. I'm going to try and keep the paper wet. So weird. They said like, oh, this sketchbook is good for watercolor on the thing that was around the sketchbook, but like, it doesn't hold water well, and it gets so. Wobbly. Blue always finds a way. Scary! Um... <laughs> right, I need to mix a brown colour before the paint is dry. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of orange. Blue always finds a way. Hmm. It does not. In this case, it will not find me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Getting somewhere, getting somewhere. At least it didn't dry out too badly. So we're just gonna make that. That's the sort of the nest because it's sitting inside of the nest. And its role is be a nice little friend for the harpy eagle. A nice, cute, little friend. Trippy. <laughs> uh, and it's just bleeding out because it's because I made the paper wet, as if I was painting with watercolors, which I am technically not. <laughs> But since these inks are dissolvable in the water, I'm just kind of using them as if they were watercolour. I just want to use watercolours again. <laughs> the bleed is quite cool to watch. It is, it is. I love it. I love it when colour bleeds into places. <laughs> it's climbed a tree, obviously. <laughs> <clears throat> it was a long way up, but it managed, which is kind of why it uh, took a little while to get up high enough to hold up the leaf for the eagle. <laughs> Although, do armadillos and harpy eagles share an environment? That's a different question, <laughs> which I am gladly going to ignore. And where did they go? Because the next is now empty. <clears throat> Lumpy peanut butter or some or smooth. Uh, I don't eat peanut butter. So I don't know. Always lumpy. It rolled up a tree like Sonic. Hold <laughs> on, let me check. Uh, oh well. Even if it, it ends up being inaccurate to what's reality. This paper is so weird, it, like, cause like, it's forming some dark spots. Ugh. I'm pretty sure I'm ruining the paper a little bit. I'm going to add some green to the trees, cause I'm just gonna. No, no, that's not trees. They're branches from the nest. Wait, no, no, no. What am I doing? I should be leaving space up there for the signature and stuff, or I'll use it down there and I just like. Boing. Blow that out. <laughs> I'll blame the paper. The paper is acting up. It's not great paper for any sort of bad works. Man blames his tools. Oh, I don't even know. When you paint something, you can tell the paper when the paper is bad. Even though technically this is from Royal Talons, apparently. So like, I'm a little bit disappointed. Because we do have good paints and stuff. But apparently not very great uh, <laughs> sketchbook in this case. To be fair, I think it was a little bit cheap or maybe it wasn't. I don't remember. 
Mum paid for it. She was like, wouldn't you rather try this one rather than the expensive sketchbook you were going to uh, buy online? I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Next thing, you'll be blaming lag. <laughs> I don't know. Am I lagging? <laughs> Kind of looks like it's sitting in some dry, dried out grass. Hmm. Oh well. Right, let me clean the palette before that dries. Just wipe it off. Lag aid my input, it's not fair. <laughs> oh yeah, don't roll away! But at least... It's not bleeding through as much as the paper from last year. Lag is rubber banding the brush strokes. <laughs> rubber banding? No, no, no. I think it looks fine. It's just... I don't like the paper. That's all. Oh. Oops. <laughs> that bled through. A uh, lot. Good thing I remembered to put the paper underneath. <laughs> Isn't that so cute, though? Right. I'm going to sign once it's dry. <laughs> one hour, 40 minutes. This is one of, this is probably the longest uh, it took me to finish the drawing. It looks pretty, it's quite adorable. It's so cute. <sighs> Why haven't I drawn an armadillo before? Honestly, like. <laughs> I love Inktober, it makes me draw stuff I've never considered drawing before. Uh, there's a little drop of water left in there. Mm. And now it's non-existent. You should just draw random obscure animals sometime. I should. <laughs> just random animals that I've never even heard of, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Although, how am I supposed to find animals I've never heard of? <laughs> oh, that bled through so much. <laughs> that hurts me. Oh. Hello, like the art. <laughs> Hi, uh, thank you. <laughs> RB Mart works. <laughs> We're just gonna have to let that dry because I'm about to put my hand down on that to sign. I, for one, would like to see you draw a mantis shrimp. Uh, where do I write that down as a, as a, <laughs> a what, uh, what does that look like? No, that's searching on my own pin, pin, right. Mantis shrimp, they're nature's boxes. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Whoa. That's so colourful though. I have found the best video ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so colourful. Alright, I really do want to draw this. <laughs> Mantis shrimp punches crab's arm off. Like, literally, they have a deadly punch. Oh. Ow. Oh, okay. Right, I'm going to save that to... Animal Buddies. Just some of these. <laughs> oh, they look so cool! I really do want to draw this now. Well, deadly for their size, I hope. <laughs> I hope so too. But whoa, okay. Okay. I'm wondering if I should like add some darker. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine the way it is. I'm not going to overwork it. There's a willy of ale punches a hole through your fisherman's foot. A small hole, mind you. Oh my gosh. Gets punched by a little t dude, dies of cringe. Oh. That's mean. <laughs> right, oh, okay. Don't touch wet ink. Don't touch ink when it's wet. 
for paper when it's wet. I think I'll still try to sign because I think it's dry enough for my hand to not smudge too badly. Smudge anything too badly. So long as I stay off the wet areas. So ink. Oh gosh. Ink. To. Burr. Oh, what a wonky R! No! <laughs> Never mind. Right. 20. 22. Day 15, was it, right? Day 15. R. Ma. D. Lo. And my signature. Oh, great. The ink has run. <laughs> the ink just ran out just as I finished the signature. Oh. Had a little look on your Instagram. Oh, I hope you like it. <laughs> but it's insane that it can literally punch a wound for you despite being a very small size. It, it, that's really insane. But... but then again, this doesn't feel so hard to poke through. Oh, ow. I don't think I ever want to go near one of them. One of the mantis shrimps. Wait. Okay, I can move my lamp back to its proper position. That makes it look a little brighter. <laughs> and then that's as bright as it is in real life. Trying to draw the armadillo now. Armadillo, very cute. <laughs> very pretty, but very colourful as we've seen. Yes, it's a very colourful, but sometimes the most, the most colourful and pretty creatures are the most dangerous. <laughs> I mean you could still just put your foot on it and it goes F. Yeah, I guess. Unless it punches you first and then it's like <laughs> I live inside your hole I live inside the hole in your foot now. <laughs> that sounds weird. Okay, um <coughs> God why <laughs> sorry. Can it put things for my mental image? <laughs> Can it punch through your shoe though? Who knows? I don't think we want to know. I, well, I I love how I just automatically said shoe instead of show. Hmm. I don't know if it would be strong enough for that. Uh, come from up there. I'm surprised the camera is still up and running. <laughs> Wouldn't it be about time for you to die by now? I think it did punch through the fisherman's boot. Ah yeah, right, the fisherman would have been wearing boots, right? Right, so... Poor boot. That's really strong, yeah. Because, like, that's leather. But then again, leather is technically just skin. Um, <clears throat> right. Uh, we need to cross the word amadillo off our list. And tomorrow's word is going to be foul. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, no, don't go back. No? <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Yay! We can cross it off our list. And that's... Well, technically not half of Inktober done because Inktober has 31 days. Poor boot. What the owner of the boot with the hole on the foot? Who's far? <laughs> you really did a good job with this one. I, I think I really did. It's looking really cute. I think I'm doing better this year considering I'm not trying to human, human make them look human. Make my crate, but make the animals look human. <laughs> I mean, it works fine with cats, but when you get an other animals involved, it gets a bit weird. <laughs> mm, right, fowl. I'm pretty sure that's just another definition for birds, right? Right? Fowl definition. A bird of any kind. It's just birds. <laughs> hmm. 
Fouls, fouling or fouls is to see, catch or kill wild fowl. Don't use foul language. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the foul with the W, not the U. Um, right, that's going to be for tomorrow. We're going to figure out how that's going to fit into the story. Oh gosh, the paper underneath has gone so wobbly. <laughs> After I used so much water on that page. I'm sorry, paper. <laughs> but I think it's safe to pull that out. I'm so happy with my armadillo. But I think I should go offline now because I think I have to help um, my siblings again with some packing of stuff. Uh, it's not going to be a foul drawing, that's for sure. It's going to be a pretty one. I'm going to do something pretty. Although, technically speaking, we've already completed the prompt considering we've got one, two, three birds. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, hope you have a good rest of the day. You too, you too. Well, you gotta draw it again. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll draw another bird. <laughs> um, I need to do something pretty for today after the draw dra dark drawing I did yesterday. Ooh. <laughs> yes, a pr it's, it's always nice to mix things up, right? Pleasure was all mine. Yay! <laughs> It's not a warning, it's a threat. Oh, whoa, okay, okay, chill. <laughs> right, um, I hope, hopefully I'll see you all uh, tomorrow and we'll draw some foul. <laughs> English language, we love you. Thank you for following RBM Artworks. RBM Artworks? Artworks, RBM Artworks. Right. <laughs> Hope to catch more of your streams. I hope so too. I hope to see you again. It was very fun talking to you. Um, <laughs> I almost don't want to go, but the drawing is done. Um, and I've got other stuff to do with my siblings and stuff. So, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, or some other time, again. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>